Brothers and sisters, um, this is my little way of making sure that the motherless children are taken good care of. This is a check of 500,000. Wow, holy Mary! Once again, we appreciate your gift and we pray that the good Lord will continue to bless you on behalf of the motherless baby. Once again, we say thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, madam. May the Lord Almighty continue to bless you and your family in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We have to run along now. Make sure you take good care of them. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. bye, -bye. Let me call her majesty for you. Thank you, sir. I hope no problem. No problem. There is no problem. All right. Stay here. Who can do? Is there a problem? See here. Someone is here to see her majesty. So you now go in and call her. So who could that be? One of the village girl. So go, 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 go. Be fast. Good day, Your Majesty. Good day. Who are you? I'm Mazi Madekwe's daughter, Your Majesty. So, why are you here? I was sent by my father to come and tell you that my mother has delivered. Wow. Good news. Yeah. You can go. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. This life, this life. 
Good news. Yeah. We will go and visit them in our usual way. Yes, Your Majesty. Who knows the lucky family she's visiting this time? No one can tell. I envy this woman. The way she spread money around. She has been really helpful in this community, even outside. My dear, that is why God has been blessing this woman. She is good to this community. In fact, I wish to be one of her servants one day. Hey, Alice. Who uh, said? Yes. You heard me. Yes. I wish to be one of her servants. I am saying Alice. Ah, uh, yes. You know, like the that. How are you? Good day, you're welcome, welcome, madam. Your daughter told me you had a new baby. Yes, madam. I decided to come and see the child in my usual way. Oh, oh, it's not okay, about you, madam. Can I have a baby? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> What is the name? Samuel. Samuel. You're welcome into the world. This is a check of three hundred thousand. Eh? Three guinea. Thank you, Your Majesty. Hey! Mama, 300,000 Madam, I thank you. May God bless you. Amen. And um, these things are for you too. Eh? Rice, granite oil. Hey! When are we going to finish this rice? That is it. Oh! Hey! Thank you. Madam, thank you. Thank you very much, oh. Hey! Hey! Mama, grab us oil. Rice. Rice, yeah, Mama. Mama. Foreign. When are we going hey. to finish it? Hey, I wish that it's around. 
I will continue the job every month. Yeah. Eh? Mama, you are going to give it again. Ah, and that one you talk. Hey, don't make fun of your son. Oh, me who could daddy make fun of your son? He won't be luku. Hey, God who remember? Oh God, I thank you, Father. Oh yeah. Just go, 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 go. Hey, God, I thank you. Hey, Madam Rosie. In short, you will live for us. Under my chains, I command all your love and destiny to come to me now. Swa sikayabo don intrakavo. I am the great Rosie. Remember to serve your God in the days of your youth. You are youths now. You are in the world, but you are not of the world. So you have to behave like people and children of God. You have to behave and dress decently. Don't dress worldly. Is that clear? Yes, Pastor. So please, let me leave you now to go because it's already getting late. So you can start going now. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much and may God bless you. Thank you, thank you. Pastor, what are you doing in the church by this time of the night? Is it wrong to come and see my pastor? Um, why is everywhere dark? Oh, my Jane, that's a little problem. Ah, okay, okay. And what is this for? This is my little gift for you. What? Gift? Sister, you've done so much for me and the church. Here, yeah, Pastor. <sighs> Pastor, you know I derive joy giving gifts. Besides, giving to a servant of God is like giving to God himself. <sighs> Sister Rosie, you surprised me. Hey, no problem. Thank you very much for the gift. May God bless you. Can they Thank you. Take yes, it? yes, please okay. take it to the, to the backyard. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Yeah, I have to run along now. Oh, may God bless you. God bless you. Bless you, sister. Thank you. But remember to be in the service on Sunday. Pastor, yes, at yeah. least God will continue to add up our words. Thank you. you know, I'll be there. Thank you. Um, God bless you. Yeah. Remind me when we get to the palace. Let me send somebody to come and fix up the gym. All right. Make sure you don't forget. I will do just that. Okay, Pastor. Hey, bye bye. God bless you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma. 
I came to see the little baby hey. in my usual way. Hey, you woke up. Hey, but your highness, you came late. The baby is sleeping. Hmm? Sleeping? Ah. Yes, sleeping. Yes. Okay. okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Majesty. Yeah. This is 30,000 naira. Hell! See what you can do for your baby. For me? Yeah. And my baby? Mm. Hey! Your Highness, thank you. Thank no, you. No, 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 you don't. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Me and my baby. Make sure you take care of that baby. Thank I have you. to run along now. So soon? Bless you. Bless you. Jay, thank you. Go well, oh. May God continue to bless you every day of your life. Hey, oh, money. Hey, hey, my baby. The Great Rosie! She called me on phone. Oh, she's upstairs. Okay. Oh, upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Um, here, girl, like you said, more hard work. In that case, all hands must be on deck. Our queen mother. 
she must always be happy. You're right, girl. That's by the way, ladies. You see? The queen had an attack today. What? What happened? She won't believe if I tell you who is behind it. That's useless bastard! <laughs> no, 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 no. Just wait a minute. You mean after all that we've done for that useless fool? That man is biting more than he can chew. Exactly. <laughs> Pastor Dan. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Pastor Dan. Uh, what kept you? Ah? Huh? What kept you? Was what? I was watching the question. What? Get out! Out! Chari chari mi samae. Chari chari mi samae. Sikera bori mi samae. Chari chari mi samae. Chari chari mi samae. Chari chari mi samae. Sikera bori mi samae. Chari chari mi samae. Chari chari mi Right there in my house, as I was walking down the staircase, yes. I nearly fell down, if not for one of my maids. Only for me to go into my chambers to do, you know, my usual way. Yeah. To find out that it was Pastor Dan. Pastor who? Pastor Dan. Dare you? Dare <sighs> me. I think it's high time we push him six feet down. But, Mom, I'm confused. How, how, can, how can you tell me this? Don't you know what to do? Oh, God. No more. Do something. Do something. has destroyed our plans. Her Majesty, we have to declare total war against Pastor Dan. That man is daring you. That man is daring you. He's making life unbearable for us. We have to bring him down. He must. Yes, he must go down. Dan. <laughs> we shall soon know who laughs last. The battle line is drawn. She has been so worried of late. All because of the recent development. You're right. I know it's all about Pastor Dan. Everybody in this royal household knows he's been declared an enemy. You know, I have asked Her Majesty. We have powers. The power of a woman. With our strong powers. We can bring any man down. No man can stand it. All great men have fallen to that power. Not to worry. <laughs> they will fall. You're right, man. Paul, it's not going to be an easy task. That man is powerful and a firebrand. <laughs> ah, sweetie. <laughs> you know what? No man. No man on this surface earth has been able to resist and will resist the luscious body of Mara. No. No one. 
Yeah. And the sweet lips and waists of our beautiful maidens. Don't worry, we will handle him. Okay? <laughs> you know what? I will ask Her Majesty. And I hope that she grants us our deed. He is going there. Sure, sure. <laughs> Definitely. Come! <laughs> yeah. He's going there. You know what? Right. It's time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. We've conquered. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. 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 Felicia, mm -hmm. my kingdom is on fire. What? Pastor Dan of the village is making life unbearable for me. He's stopping every activities of my kingdom. Really? What are you waiting for? Handle him! If he tries such with me, I won't give sleep to my eyes. I will make sure he goes six feet down. Give him no open space. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do to get him out of the way. The earlier, the better. Take care. Mara, I'll be traveling to see the kitchen. Get the things I'll need for the journey ready. Yes, Your Majesty. Hmm? I'll be leaving soon. Where is Tara? Um, she's in the maiden's room. Call her to accompany me. And make sure you take care of the house. I will. As much if needed. Tell Savior to prepare for the journey. Your Majesty. The meeting in my house is very, very important. No problem. So Don't fail to be there. It's all right, Your Majesty. I'll be there. Pastor Dao's prayer has been disturbing you. Your Majesty. And is making you uncomfortable. That is why I called for this meeting. I wonder why Ikechi is not here because I informed him about it. But we have to proceed. We need to put our heads together and see how we can put a stop to this rubbish. Then, he has to be made to go the way of all men. You know what I mean? Death. Death? Yes. But how do we go about it? Because that man is a powerful man of God. <laughs> yes, he is powerful. But not as powerful as to resist my ripe apples. Your ripe apple? I guess you don't know what I mean. <laughs> Your 
Majesty. These are my right and deadly apples. They can pull any man down. Mara, what do you think? Your Majesty, with our powers here mm -hmm. <laughs> and here, uh -huh. <laughs> no man, no man can stand us. Right, girl? Yes! <laughs> you can retire to your chambers, okay. my faithful yeah. servants. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Honestly, what do you have to say? <laughs> With all these girls. No way. No one dares Rosie. No one. What can you do? I'm being carried away. Amen, 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 amen. Praises and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might. Mara. Your Majesty. Tara. Your Majesty. Prisca. Your Majesty. Sylvia. Your Majesty. The task ahead is great. We need more fortification. I take authority against the forces that is against your own father, forces from the marine kingdom, Lord, all the cultic people, Lord, the marine spirit, Father, I bind them, I bind their spirits, Lord, whether they're in the sea, whether they're on the land, Father, wherever they are. For the great battle ahead. I cancel them. Lord, I bind them and I bind their powers. Send their fire, O oh God. Let them be consumed by your fire. Thank you, Father. Ah! Oh. 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 Father, because I know the Holy Spirit is working on them. Father, Lord, take glory, take glory, take glory, take glory, take glory, take glory, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, because I know you've had me. Thank you, Father, because I know you hear it, your son. Thank you, Lord. Glorify your son, Jesus. Glorify your son, Jesus. Glorify your son, Jesus. Oh, Father, thank you, thank you. Pastor Dan, you dead. No one dares the great Rosie and lives to tell the story. Swa Sikeyabo, Doni Trakavo. I am the great Rosie.
So how did it go? Very well, Your Majesty. Very well. Your Majesty, the pastor see me. Oh yes. This is a job well done. I will reward you too greatly. You. Pastor Dan, you have come to the end of the road. Call the other maidens and get me a glass. Suaz, Sikeyabu, Do Nitakavu. Suas Sikeyabu Doni Trakavo Suas Sikeyabu Doni Trakavo Mr. Shaki Mr. Shaki
Um, good morning, Your Lordship. Good morning. How was your night and your family? My night very good and my family perfect, sir. Um, sir, I hope I haven't disturbed your your rest or reading in any form, sir. But the urgency in the phone call you put through actually led to a premonition. I hope nothing is wrong, sir. Your distance, I could say, is three. Without wasting much of your time, news just got to me that Pastor Daniel is dead. Jesus. God, 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 why, 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 how, how, when, how? Well, this is why I called you, so that we start preparing myself. Because after Pastor Daniel's burial, you will be going to Monaga to replace him. Yesterday I saw him in a trance. He, he was in a bush with two girls. He just stood there and the girls were cu cutting a big tree down. Then, then I woke up from the trance and I, I just couldn't understand the meaning. Pastor Dad, Pastor, oh God, God, Pastor Dad. You have six days to prepare yourself and your family for the journey. And as you know, Omonaka village is a diabolic village. Mm. I believe it is only you who can be there and be of help to the community. You know, Shiba, I, I, I still thank you for... God. I thank you for the trust you, you, you have in me, Your Lordship. Thank you very much. God. You have to come tomorrow for all the paperwork. May the Lord be with you. I'm also with you, Your Lordship. I'm wondering why nobody in this village is making any noise. Everybody is as poor as. Hey! What do I even use in qualifying the level of poverty that have affected every indigenous of this village? One in the Guardian. No good road, no good house. Talk of anything about uh, job opportunity. Do you go to school? Do I? Mm -mm. We can only provide high level of doubt everywhere. Okay, my friend. Hmm? It beats my imagination too. I have been thinking over this thing for a while now. Mm -hmm. But. I could not figure out why things are the way they are now. Mm -hmm. You see? Okay. But the only way to do who is super rich in this community is Madame Rosie. Rosie the philanthropist. You are right. Although nobody knows the source of her wealth. I even heard that she gave Mazi Madukwe some of 200,000 naira and other gifts for her newborn baby. 
you all that time. What a cream wine in Anion Sina, Nanny Mamrinas. What are our men doing? So she keep throwing money around. I wonder if she has a, a, a tree somewhere that uses money for her. See, that woman has long legs. Besides, she knows those that matters in this country. You're right, okay? You're right. But that money. Is uh, that is by the way. I think we have to do something about the condition of this community. I'm telling you, nothing but the truth. Okay, what do you think we can do? Eh? Can a leopard change its color? Eh? What do you intend to do to change the poverty status of this great community? What do you think you can do? At least, let's start campaigning by telling our youth that it's good to be good when the good is needed. Okay, okay my okay, friend. Better keep your mouth shut. So let's take this drink and go home with our head still intact. Please, mm. be good. Be good. If we mm. insist. Honestly, they still mourn the death of Pastor Dan. Hmm, I thought as much. But um, the church has decided to send us Pastor. I see. That's interesting. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah. Ah, that's great. Fat thank God. I've heard so much about Pastor Siri. In fact, he's a great man of God. Of course. And I think he's the perfect match for this diabolic community. When will he be coming, sir? He will be arriving tomorrow. So, I want you to relate to other church members. That's right, I'll do just that. I'll do that. Yes, hello, Pastor. Okay, okay, I'll be there right away, huh? I can't believe this. What? 
Pastor Siri is here. What? What? We have to go and welcome him, man. Ah, but you said he will be coming tomorrow. Do I have to answer why he chose to come today? Please, let's go and receive him. Let's go and receive him. Uh, please, eh? tell other members, tell them that Pastor Siri is here. Yes, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. The topic today is your set time to receive answers to prayers. Your set time to receive answers to prayers. Amen. Amen. Now John 15, 16 reads. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. And that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now the people of the Old Testament always had to report to a prophet or a seer to inquire of the Lord. It wasn't a common practice for them to talk to God directly and expect to receive answers to their requests from Him directly to. But Jesus, our Lord and Savior, brought it to fore. He made it known to us that it is our Father's desire for us to be bold and confident enough to ask Him whatsoever we want in His name and receive instantly answers to our requests. Amen? Amen? Now, can somebody read John 16 verses 23 and 24? John chapter 16 verse 23 I read And in that day and in that day ye shall ask me nothing ye shall ask me nothing verily verily i say unto you verily verily i say unto you whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name he will give it to you he will give it to you he said to have ye asked me nothing in my name continue ask and ye shall receive ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full that your joy may be full amen, amen. Now, now you see that day jesus was talking about is not a 24 hour day but a dispensation a season a set time in which you make your requests and you receive Thanks be to God that that season Jesus was talking about is now. There are lots of idol worshippers in our community today. And I make bold to tell them that they do not need to ask any chief priest to intercede on their behalf for whatever. We don't need to ask anyone to pray to God on our behalf. We do not need to keep reminding somebody to remind God of our problems. They don't need to bow down to any fake God, any fake carving of any sort for answers to their prayers. Amen? Amen. They should repent and be born again. So they can, like us, have the right, have the privilege to talk to God directly. And via calling the name of Jesus Christ, receive answers to our prayers. Amen? Amen. Now we are going to make our requests known to God and let our Father grant us our heart desires. We are going to be in the mood for prayer now. As I say, we should stand up. I want us to make our requests and put before the throne of grace all our problems. Everybody pray. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we place forth our problems before you. Father Lord, we thank you because you are God. We 
thank you, we glorify you, we worship you, O Lord. Lord God, you said it in your word that at the shout of hallelujah, the walls of Jericho came down. Mara, Tara, Your Majesty, Majesty, I've called both of you to tell you that the war is set rolling again. Pastor Dan is dead, but his replacement is stronger. We need to fortify our defense and attack. He must die. Your Majesty, you're right. That man is a threat. No doubt about it. We will destroy him the way we destroyed Pastor Dan. Are we not as strong as we used to be? Yes, you're very correct. Your Majesty, we are always at your service. Anytime. Trust us. You can retire to your chambers. I shall let you know when to strike. Thank you, Your Majesty. What I said, okay? Is you have to pray for them. Do you understand? It's okay. I have to what I told you. Okay? Alright, Pastor. God bless you. We are grateful. Thank you, Pastor. Ah! Pastor, I really want to say thank you for what the good Lord has been using you to do in our life in this village. Amen. Amen. I really want to say thank you, sir. And, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Pastor, yes. The evil ones in this village are overthrowing away the Christians. But I believe by the special grace of God, mm. we, we must defeat them. Amen. Now, as for you, now that you have received healing yes, Pastor. through preachings in the church yesterday, yes, Pastor. I implore you to remain sinless. Do you hear me? Yes, remain Pastor. sinless. Yes, Pastor. I will have Pastor. to pray. Confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I will, Pastor. And I tell you, God will infinitely bless you in Jesus' name. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Actually, Pastor, I brought this for you. Ah, 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 no, you didn't have to. I have to. It's just my little way of saying thank you, Pastor. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'll put them in the back here. Okay, Pastor. Okay, and uh, call the next person. Okay, Pastor. Thank, right. you, thank you, Pastor. Okay. Good day, Pastor. Good day, Pastor. How are you? Ah, madam, how are you and your family? They are all fine. Good, 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 good. Pastor, I came to thank you. Pastor, I strongly believe this village is under a curse. I have never experienced peace. That's why I'm rich. My family has been jumping from one problem to another. Mm. When I heard you were coming, I decided to come and see you. My daughter has been ill for so many years. But after your sermon, she told me that her sickness has left her. Hallelujah. I said I must come and thank you, Pastor. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Very much. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Ah, ah, I know there is God. But we must first of all thank the man who he used to manifest his wonderful works in our lives. Yeah. That is no, you. No, no, no. You, you cannot take the glory of God. <laughs> now, madam, have you heard about the ministry of angels? Have you experienced it? Is that another church? No, not at all. You see, angels 
were sent by God to minister for us. Now, I didn't say to us, but for us, which means they are at our service. I'll tell you a story of a young boy who was crippled from birth at a crusade ground. Listened to the preachings of Jesus Christ. Heard the word of God. And then he was touched. He then prayed to God there and then to cleanse him of all his sins and purify his heart. Then while he was praying, he felt a few friends around him were kind enough to lift him up. And then after his prayers, he opened his eyes, only to find out that he was there alone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you see, Mother, if you confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you act accordingly to his words, trust me when I say everything will be good for you. And then you will experience an increased ministry of angels in your life. <sighs> Pastor, thank you for that life-filling sermon. You don't know how happy I am now. Um, Pastor, I came here for a reason. You know, when Hannah went to Eli's church, asking him for what God has denied her for so many years, oh, yes. Eli made her make a promise of course. that if God blesses her with a child, that she will give back the child to God as a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Yes, yes. And when Samuel came, she did. Of course. I made a vow through Pastor Daniel. <laughs> Pastor Dan. Madam, 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 please, please, please. God, God knows best, okay? Don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> no, Pastor, it's not okay. How can this village, how can they be so wicked to kill such a good man? Madam, we cannot question the ways of God. Like I said, God knows best. Like I was saying, if I remember the death of Pastor Dan, I promised God that if he made my child well again, that I would dedicate her to the services of the church. And how do you intend accomplishing this? Ah, Pastor, uh, let her come and be helping you in some of the doing washing clothes and some other no, 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 no. <laughs> this house is too small. Hey. Uh, no, no, seriously, the, the chores here are, are few. Myself and my wife can manage, really. Hey, Pastor, hey, don't do this to me. Eh? I, I promise God this. Hmm? My brothers are evil. They are the ones that killed my husband and two children. She is the only one I've got left. Eh? Do you know what? They worship a certain tree and they insist that my family and I should do the same. Yeah. And you know, Pastor, I cannot do such a thing. Pastor, please. Eh? Please, Pastor, if you don't allow her to stay, they will kill her. Pastor, please. Please. Ah. Okay, uh, madam, um, um, please just just give me a day or two today and tomorrow. Let me discuss this with my wife. This Pastor, I'm so happy to have received the gift of the Holy Spirit through your sermon. Amen. Amen. I told God as he started me. No, no, not at all. No, no. You see, God is actually, you know, preparing for greater things. He's actually trying to extend your coast, expand your horizon. You see, you see, I'm actually counseling here. I know. But we've had that woman asking you to take her doctor. Said she could be helping us in the heart she was. And you said no. Why? Well, I said I have to consult you first before making a decision. Oh, you have my approval. Are you sure? Yes. Please call her back. You mean I should call and call the woman back? Yes, call her back. Thank you. 
Madam, I, I thought you were gone. Uh, no, I was there praying. You know, you told me about a certain man who prayed and his prayers was answered instantly. Of course. When I heard your wife, I need not to be told that God has sent his angels to pick up my case immediately. Just like you told me a few minutes ago. Amen. Um, your daughter, where is she? Um, she's at home. All right. Um, bring her here this evening. Wow. This evening? Yes. Thank you, Pastor. I'm so happy. I can't wait. Let me rush to the house. to bring to the house like I discussed with the pastor. Oh, oh, you're welcome. See, okay. You see, actually, I'm accepting you out of benevolence. And I hope you know what it means living with a pastor. Yes, ma'am. She knows. Mm -hmm. She's God-fearing and respectful too. Actually, I know I'm saying that. For her to live here, she has to be praying and fasting her watch word. And she will not do anything that would disappoint the pastor. Or rub the face of the church in the mud. Um, meanwhile, I hope you know we represent the church. Have you been attending church services? Always. Always. Even if you want her to fast for five days, she can do it. Really? I don't know what she can do. Are you sure? It's okay. You're welcome. Where are you? Madam Rosie. Okay. Madam Rosie, thank you very much. Yeah, good girl. First step achieved with OKJ in that house. We are sure of rendering homelessness. And then kill him like we did to his predecessor. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a well executed plan. <laughs> Mara. Yes, Your Majesty. Tara. Your Majesty. Both of you will monitor Ogeji's activities in that house mm -hmm. and get back to me. <laughs> Do I have my Yes, Yes, Your Majesty. This calls for celebration. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Chari chari mi samae. Chari chari mi samae. Sike ya buri mi samae. Chari chari mi samae.
<laughs> it was awesome. Really, really awesome. <laughs> I must confess, Pastor Isiri is a powerful man of God. No doubt about that. Hi. If you ask me, I will say that he is more powerful than Pastor Dan. That's the kind of pastor I look forward to become. Eh? I have heard so much about him, even before he was posted to our village here. And as you can see, people's attendance grows every day in this church. <laughs> hey! <laughs> see, my brother, what people look for these days is where miracle happens. Despite the ill wind that has affected our village, he's the kind of person we need here. Yes, of course, it's written in the Bible, and you should not have the vision that you shall come to pass at it upon that time. Our headquarters know the diabolism that goes on here. And it is not every pastor that can succeed. We know what the Bible says now. My people perish for lack of knowledge. And then Hello, sir. Yes, sir. OK, OK, I'll be there right away, sir. I'm just in the front of the building, sir. Okay, sir. This pastor is uh, He wants to see me, yeah? Oh, we'll, we'll see you later now. All right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. so untidy. Does it mean that Pastor or his wife has not seen this place like this? <laughs> they don't need to. This place is a stutter place. And besides, what's the keeping the place tidy anyway? Please hold the good thing. <laughs> Are you saying you want to waste this blood here? Yeah. Why not get a bowl and use it as ngongo? Blood are meant for the spirits and not human. in this kingdom. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Now, I'm making proper arrangements to take you to a Bible school in the city where you will come out as a wonderful pastor and then be the perfect ambassador of God's kingdom. Thank you very much, Pastor. You see, I have this burning desire of becoming a great man of God. Great, great. Amen. 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 But you know that I'm still waiting for the Lord's time. <laughs> the Lord's time, you say. Let me tell you a little story. When Moses and the Israelites were by the Red Sea, and then the Egyptians were chasing them, Moses was confused. And amidst his confusion, he did something. And he remembered to ask God for something. Now, can you tell me what he did and what he asked God for? Um, he brought out his staff and um, asked God for, for what to do. And only the, then the God communicates with him. And they were saved. Moses and the Israelites were saved because they obeyed God's instructions. Now, my question to you is this. Have you, my God, ever asked God to be where you want to be today? 
Chari chari mi samae, chari chari mi samae, sike ya bori mi samae, chari chari mi samae. Yes. Ubiji. Is it as the sweetest house now? Victory to us. Pastor Siri. I make you bonus! Swaz! Sike Yarabo! Doni Shakabo! Swaz! Mission, what they be doing in pastor's house? Um, please kindly go to Dada Chikwendu's place. Huh? Tell him that the meeting we slated for 3 o'clock has. What's this? What's this? What's this? No, 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 what's this? Huh? I mean, what, what, what was with the feather? The, 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 the blood? And, and the eggshells. What? You want to turn here into the native shrine in your village? No. I don't have any other place to kill the fowl. Oh, go. so this tree is now your slaughterhouse, isn't it? Okay. Will you go in there and get something to clean this up? Move! Ah! What is what, what's, what's this rubbish? What is it? Daddy, is this the way you people have been living? This is the way we've been living here. Oh, please, I'm sorry. I don't know she has been killing the fowl here. Ah! Look, this is highly unacceptable, please. 
cleanliness is next to godliness. You know that. I'm sorry. You need to put your eyes down. Please, this is a juvenile. I'm sorry. Ogechi, wipe your tears. You are on a mission here. Thank you for establishing a contact for us here. See you soon. So what, what, what's going on? Thank God, Pastor C, you're here. Okay, you're your servant. Yes. We caught her stealing my wife's fowl. Mm. My yes. own fowl. Yes. And we must <laughs> take her to Igwe's palace. Oh, suppose you walk on. To yeah. show her what fire does to rats. Yeah. So, Let me show her. Oh, now, so. Now. Okay. Okay, what's the meaning of this? Okay, what is this? Talk. Huh? You have decided to destroy your mother's image, isn't it? And also destroy your own image of a good daughter. What is it you lack in my house? What is it, Oge, that will make you do this? Huh? Is it food? Is it chicken that you lack in my house? Will you talk to me? Talk! Pastor, please don't let them take my me own away. Pastor, please. If they do, they'll punish me severely. Why Pastor, would please. They punish you? No. Give me a reason why they wouldn't punish you. No, tell me why they won't punish you. Huh? What is wrong with you, Oge? What? For a Christian to be successful, you have to eliminate yourself from ungodly acts like stealing chicken. Now you have embarrassed me, you're happy, isn't it? No, you have humiliated me, you're now very happy. Anyway, let them take you to the Igwe's palace. Uh, let's go. I'll on your behalf later. Oh, the most part of it. Oh, the rock. Oh, the rock. Oh, the rock. Oh, the rock. Oh, the Frank, today I have experienced the work of the devil in action. I experienced an angle of the work of the devil in total action today. I mean, can you imagine? What have I done to that girl? Can you just, can you, can you imagine a girl living with me, stealing chicken? What would people say? 
What would people say if they hear a girl living with a pastor stole chicken? I was shocked when I heard it. I still wonder what could have led her into doing that, sir. Anyway, <sighs> that's by the way. Um, I was about to send him for you, actually. Now, I need you to tell me your perspective. How do you intend to intensify the choir in this village? Uh, hold on. Uh, I'll be with you soon. Disappointed me. I feel like strangling you to death. <sighs> what is it you want that I have not provided for you? What is it you want that I cannot give you? That you went and stole an ordinary fowl? Oh. Your Majesty, I am very, very Shut up! Shut up! You are a fool! An idiot! Animal! Just a simple mission. And you messed the whole thing up. You have failed me. <laughs> for me to eliminate that so-called man of God after rendering him useless. What do I do? His church is waxing stronger every day. He's a threat to my people. No. And if I don't do anything, he will expose me. To my people. No. I have to do something. It is time to dance the dance of the spirits. No matter how tall an Iroko tree is, it can be cut down. It can be cut down. We shall soon know who laughs last. So you see them. Your Majesty, your food is ready. You are a fool! A very big fool! I have war and worries raging all around me. And here you are, talking about food. Will you get out of here? Black goat! Idiot! Your Majesty, I know that you are really bothered that Pastor Esiri is wasking stronger and he's losing people that you've caged and bondaged. I understand. We have to calm down, we have to relax. Yes. He's quite more than he can chew. I am I'm, I'm afraid what tomorrow will be if we don't stop him. Your Majesty, we can pull him down just the way we did to Pastor Dan. He's not an exception. He's no exception. Yes, Your Majesty. We can march him down if given the opportunity. Trust us. Yes, you can. You can? You can do so. You don't need to worry too much. We are here for you. You don't need to stress yourself. I know what to do. I have a plan. But if it doesn't work out as fast as I planned, then we'll think of alternative. You don't need to worry. I am in control.
but seriously, we have to do something really fast. Pastor is seriously eating more than he can chew. We need to bring him down. Yes, fast. We must bring him down. Let's go, let's go. just have to be steadfast in the Lord, okay? You have to be. Because our God has revealed to me that somebody is trying to tie down the progress of this community by negatively and spiritually taking away the destiny of the people of this community at snail speed. You know how a snail moves? Oh, yes, sir. Very slow. Things are not moving fast at all, the way they should. No progress. Things are not moving the way they should move. But you see, the Bible says that the wicked shall never go unpunished. Amen? Amen. Jesus Christ. What does the person stand to give? Okay. The world is a wicked place, my sister. The world is a wicked place. And that is why I thank God for sending me to this community. And with our joint efforts, we shall be able to liberate this community. Amen? Amen. 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 Yes. You understand me? So, please. Be steadfast in the Lord. Be fervent in your prayers. Hold the word of God firm. And I tell you that the blessings of the Lord keep abiding with you. And also with you, sir. Amen. Amen. All right. Please don't forget to come tomorrow, okay? Okay, sir. Right. God bless you. Okay. With your mother for me. Sister, see, no wonder who, who could be responsible for a misfortune in this community. <sighs> it beats my imagination on how people suffer in this our community. And everybody progresses. For that living, our community will be a better place. Yet, see sister, one day justice must prevail in this community. <sighs> you are right, my sister. Imagine how people were sharing testimony yesterday. After his ministration. That, see, sister, that man is a much man in our community. I thank God for him. Sister, let me go home, please. I just had a strange dream. It's okay. It's alright. It's just a new dream. Okay? An angel of God appeared to me and said I should go on fasting. My goodness. This is serious. That means we have to go to mountain to start it. Because there are no mountains in this community. We know we can go to wilderness. They are still the same. No. I can't go on prayers now because of our annual convention that starts next tomorrow. And you know I'm the secretary. And you can find someone to represent you. I think this message is more important. No. The convention is also important. It's very important because it's church business. And church business is God's business. It's okay. So right. Please. Can you? It's your fault. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So you give me a Bible and make sure you eat this food. Alright. Mm? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, it's okay. Make sure you finish the whole food. Finish it all.
Maya, what were you saying? Your Majesty, that man is losing the villagers. He's making them know that they are under bondage. It's, it's becoming a thorn in our flesh. Her Majesty, Mara is right. You see, the exit of Oge from his house is detrimental to this room. Because we do not receive any more of our part of his meals. Yes, Your Majesty. The blood that was shed on the tree, our point of contact, has completely ceased. Your Majesty, I suggest we strike him. Yes, Your Majesty. Let's strike. Yes. Okay. Let's start from somewhere. By who? Where? Where are they? They are long gone. They are in there. She's an orphan I encountered. She had a terrible experience with armed robbers and rapists. Jesus. I did not hurt her. Well, I had wanted to take her to the hospital. She. She, she says she's okay now. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just think about it. She's okay. Yeah. Well, my dear, I wanted to you know, consult you first before making a decision. What decision? She says she wants to stay with us for some time. My love, no. This girl is grown up. Not even after the experience we had with Okechi. My darling, the Bible says we should be kind to strangers. For some have entertained them even as angels of God. Have you forgotten the story of Abraham? My love, God cannot manifest in this way. Darling, don't forget Jacob. 
God appeared to Jacob as a wrestler. It was at the break of dawn that he now realized it wasn't just an angel of God, but the spirit of God himself. And then God decided to rename him, bless him, and call him Israel. I'm just concerned about the constant nightmare you'll be having. That's just my worry. It's okay. It is well. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Ma. I am so grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, it's not for you all to be in that bush wandering about doing nothing. I'm so grateful. It is I am. okay. Thank you. It is okay. We are servants of God. What can we do but to make the world a better place for people? It's okay. Thank you. Give me so water. Nice. Give so me. Nice. It's okay. Thank you. Well. Thank you. Please, please just take her in and then, you know, freshen her up. Eh? Okay. the dishes. I don't like seeing dirty things before going to bed at night. My mom told me to always keep everywhere clean. It's okay, please. It's late already. As soon as you finish washing that one, you go to bed. At least there's still time. You can do all that in the morning, okay? Okay, let me just wash this one and rinse it up. Then I'll go to bed. Just as soon as you're done with that one, go yeah. to bed, okay? Thank you. How is the baby? We're oh, fine, thank you. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> good night. Thanks. Good night. Good night. That the light of the Lord is upon your household. Be watchful, for there are plenty of things around you. Be watchful, 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 be
Yes, I actually thought of that before I came to you. But I feel free talking to you. I feel free telling you my problems. Unless if you want to land me into trouble. Ah, no, no, I can't do that, Pastor. I can't. Um, Pastor, Pastor, I have a problem. My, I'm the only daughter of my parents. My, my mother is dead. But my stepmother wants me to marry one man that is older than, older than my father. I don't know what to do. And my father is even in support of all this because the man is rich. And I am just a virgin. I don't even know what to do because I've kept my virginity. Sister, sister, virgin. sister, sister please listen. Pastor Siri is very, very competent to handle your matter. So I suggest you meet him. Please, he will help you. I, I know, but I, I feel close to you because, I mean, I, I'm vulnerable. I don't know what to do. I just need you to help me. What? Are you mad? No, I just want to... Leave me. I can see you have come here with a motive. But let me assure you, you can never ever, you can never ever succeed. Now get out! It's going to fight this. I said get out! Get out! <laughs> Devil, get behind me. Going for the annual convention tomorrow. So Amara, I called you here so that you just hear my piece of advice. So please, I need you to be of good behavior. Be of good behavior, please. I will. Please. Any chore my wife tells you to do, kindly do. Please. You can see she's heavy. Yes, I can see. So, so please assist her. Okay? Yeah. Alright. Uh, darling. My love. You call it take care of her, okay? <laughs> if she needs anything, please just be of assistance. Alright? It's okay. Okay. Yes, I will. Who is she? Her name is Amrachi. I want new house help. House help? Yes. Uh, do you know her? Well, um, she's one of these village girls. <laughs> Frank, you know you're welcome. Anyway, um, let me go get you that uh, document, okay? Okay, okay, yes, uh, please wait. Okay, sir. Mommy, how is the baby? Good, he wonderfully well. You're fine. Hope he's kicking. Good, <laughs> he wonderfully well. Okay. Where is my son? Which son are you talking of? I said, where is my son who left my house yesterday to your place for prayers? I hope you people have not used him for rituals. Oh, you must stop insulting my husband and myself. What nonsense are you talking about? I don't know who your son is. Besides, nobody came here for prayers yesterday. You mean you have no answer to where my son is? Is that what you mean? Johnson! Johnson! Johnson, come out! Let's get out of this place! It's your father, he you! Come, let's go! Mas, I've told you your son did not come here yesterday for prayers. He was not here for prayers yesterday. You better look for him. Tell that your ritual husband that I'll be back. And if I don't see my son here, I will really show you what I am. All you people are doing here, you are here sending people to dwell. And they'll be going to steal foul and gold for you in the name of church. If my son is involved, I'll make sure that all of you are not spared alive. Have you heard me? Have I made myself clear? I'll be back. God help you. Mama. 
This ritualist have insulted me so much. <laughs> Shut up your mouth. Mazi, relax. It's, a, it's, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, please. Um, Mazi, thank you so much for coming. It is really, really a good consideration. But you see, the issue on ground now, I mean you arresting the pastor's wife with the police yesterday over the disappearance of her son. Well, uh, to me, uh, I, I don't think it is the best option. It's not. Please, I want to beg you, calm down. Let us discuss this like adults, please. Pastor Franklin, if I may ask, do you have a wife yet? Answer him. Yeah. Do you have a son? I mean, any child or a son you can call your own anyway. No, sir. Then, possibly you don't know how I feel. It is my son we're talking about here. So you are not supposed to talk here. So shut up your mouth. Huh? I said shut your mouth. Relax. Let's do this. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. Look, um, my brothers and sister, I am very surprised at this whole situation. I am shocked. I went to my house because I wasn't home when this whole thing happened. I went to my house, and they told me that my wife was taken to the police station by this man. I went to the station to bail my wife. They now said I needed to take permission from this man to bail my wife. Now, mister, mister, I want you to talk to your friend. Hmm? Talk to your friend. You want me to talk to my friend? Yes, yes my I friend. want you to talk to your friend to quietly follow me to the station. Let me go bail my wife. Because <laughs> if he doesn't, Trust me when I say I will take this case further than you ever think. I will take this case to the city police station. Are you threatening me? You mean, are you threatening me? A case of ritual and disappearance hey, of my hey, son. Hey, mister, and you are threatening mister, me. Mister, can you just listen? To, listen, can you just slow down? Slow down. Slow down. No, 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 let me talk to this man. Let slow us down. go. Slow down. Now, if my wife is still in that cell by 12 noon today, I will do things to you that you gnash your teeth and you will feel it where your grave. Can you all hear him? So, a case of disappearance of my son and all these ritualists who call himself a pastor. No. You say you're going to show me my own father's land. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Get to my wife out of here. I'm sure you will not show you We are here to settle this problem. I'm sure this will You know our objective in this mission. Yes, Your Majesty. You have to start now. Yes, Your Majesty. Destroy everything. I mean everything. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Okay. Oh, you know who my aunt is. No problem. 
Okay. Arrest him. Now. That's a Siri. You are under arrest. You have to come with us. Hmm? What have I done? When you get to the station, you will know. And you have every right to remain silent for whatever you say here may be used against you in the court of law. Why, hmm? why, why, will you stop reading that to me and leave my shirt? Please, please, officer. This is uncalled for now. Shut up! If you care for him so much, follow the station. You don't treat the man of God like this. But officer, I... arrest him! Leave my shirt to me. <laughs> officer, mm -hmm. it's not that. What we are saying is that it's no right for you to treat a man of God that way. Mm. He, he's not an armed robber. Which man of God? Take it easy with him now. Move. So, you, officer, you mean you don't have respect for a man of God? Let's go. You can talk with him now. You can talk with him now. I told you now that we should settle this thing and make it happen. We miss you in the palace. You've been gone for too long. Your Majesty, I know. I miss you all. But this mission has to be accomplished. Your Majesty, if I may suggest, I'll ask that you release Esiri and his wife from the cell. They're getting stronger by the day. Your Majesty, they are weakening my powers. That's the only way I can get access to them. So my mission can be accomplished, Your Majesty. Please grant me this request. If you say so, I've always trusted your judgment. I know you will rightly strike when the time comes. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Go. Go. Be careful. Yes, Your Majesty. Uh huh. Go to the station. Release them. Yes. Okay. The meeting. Yes, yes, yes. We did. We don't worry. When you get back, I'll give you the details. It's okay. All right. Yeah, uh, why don't you go ahead and pray in the room I'll pray here. Honey, uh, what do you mean? You know as Christians, prayer is our people. Oh, what is it? Well, look, I'm not in the mood to pray right now, okay? If you want to pray, you go in there, pray. I'll pray here later. Or are you trying to teach me the Bible? No. Is that what you're trying to do? No, my lord. Then what? Oh, please, honey, it doesn't come to that. Can okay, you just give me space? You see I'm reading, right? Mm. So give me space, please. Thank you. Space.
please come to bed. Why are you staying here all alone? I'm not tired. Mommy, please. Look, if you're tired, you can go ahead and sleep. I'm not tired now. What have you come again? What is it? Please. I'm ready. Give me space. What is what is with you now? What's with you today? Can you just give me some space, please? Please. The visit. Her Majesty said you should hasten up your mission here. There is no time. Tell Her Majesty to trust me. I mean, I'm trying my best. No, Mara. You just have to strike. Strike before they do. Tell Her Majesty I need time. I am trying my best. Um, I heard some voice. Why are you talking to people? Um, no, I am. Um, I, I just had this terrible headache while sweeping, and I mean, the headache is terrible. It's, it's so bad. It's okay. Um, well, I'm going for a meeting now, and you need to take care of the house. Make sure you take part before I come back, okay? I will. Mm -hmm. I will take it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. you, you look good. Thank you. <laughs> This time, eh? What do you want here this time? Pastor, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I mean, I am sorry for what happened the other time. It wasn't intentional, Pastor. Please forgive me. Please, I beg you. Forgive me. It wasn't intentional. Stand up. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. And Pastor, I came to talk to you about something. Can, can we? I'm listening. Just say what you want to say. I'm listening. Okay. Pastor, since I've been staying in Pastor Isiri's house, I have changed totally. I mean, I now know the word of God. I came to tell you that I want to join the drama group or the choir in the church. But I think I'm a better singer, so I want to join the choir. Um, Pastor, that's why I came to you. Interesting. Well, um, you come to the church tomorrow's evening. That is, if you are serious about what you've just said. Yes, I'm very serious. Thank you so much, Pastor. It's okay. Thank you very much, Pastor. You're welcome. Thank you.
Kushisha keys, Kushisha keys, Kushisha keys. Kushisha keys, Kushisha keys, Kushisha Kushisha keys, Kushisha keys, Kushisha keys. Come on out. Come on out the juice, please. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, please. I'm coming. Um, should I? Um, 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 yeah. Um, thank you, thank you very much. It's okay. Um, I, I can just help you. Do. No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Hello, 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 mama. So we are going to um, do this stanza one again. You remember what I told you, yeah? Yes. Okay. Cast all your fears, join unto the Lord, for He cares for you. I'm not feeling your own too. I'm doing it. Okay, don't worry, I'll help you. Let's go again. I'll help you. Pastor, I can sing soprano. Okay, yes, yes, I can feel that. We'll go again. Cast all your fears onto the Lord. For he cares for you. And he knows what you're going through. Why don't you? Have I not told you not to answer calls here? Are you mad? No, sir. Yes, I'll seize that phone, no. Yes, sir. Sorry, please. Um, let's continue. Pastor, I want to sing the solo. 
Ok, don't worry, don't worry, later you do it, eh? Cast all your fears onto the Lord, for He cares for you. And He knows what you're going to. Why don't you cast all your fears onto the Lord? Repeat the last stanza, eh? <coughs> Please, I'm sorry. Um, let's continue. I'm not feeling your bass now. Okay, okay, bro. Let me help you do the bass, eh? The bass is. Why don't you cast all your fears onto the Lord? Eh? Yeah. Baby, fa, baby, fa, so, 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 do. Okay, I get you, I get you. That's deep, as We do it again, yeah. Uh, uh, from, from top. Mm -hmm. no. Cast all your fears onto the Lord. For He cares for you, and He knows what you're going through. Why? Solo. Okay, okay. Yeah, Let me okay. just. Okay. Yeah, let's go again. The last sequence. Why don't you cast all your fears onto the Lord? The last sequence again. Why don't you cast all your fears onto the Lord? Again, the last sequence. Why don't you cast all your fears? I think it's because your hard work was for my family. My vida não já é que nos quinta lira. Ma que te que do zegroski. Ritra do já bam bam que te do som te galera rosi. In the name of the Lord Jesus, for thank you because it made me to understand in efficiency stuff. No reason not against. And flesh and blood that will rescue against principalities of powers in the wicked world, in the darkness. My Father and my God, may every power God that is not of thee be bowed in the name of Jesus Christ. Because my Father, I know that in may mention him of Jesus Christ, that every knees are going to bow, every tongue so confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of my Father. May every power of God that is tormenting my husband, that is disturbing my family, be bowed in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God, those general shantery. Bravo Zegarosha, Bakeko Zegaroshi, Nina Halagroski, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, my name, may they be bow God in the mission of Jesus Christ. Because I know at the mission of Jesus Christ that every knee is going to bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. To the glory of my Father in heaven. And so, my Father, Father, first John 1 3 8. Oh, my God, He said, Oh, God, for the Satan of God sinned from the beginning. Oh, Jehovah, for this purpose, oh, the Son of Man was. Made manifest, Father, to save my guy, for me to save my husband. In the name of the Lord Jesus, for me to restore God upon unto Him, the definitive power of you, that God, the power that comes upon the revelation of my Father, then the resurrection of my Father in heaven, be total your God, be your storm of my husband. In the name of the Lord Jesus, oh. Bakaka take a bob zigransha, let keke buda do zigran do ligaronski, rake take a bob zaligaron skin to the wound day, for you say we should overcome by the testimony of our mouth, O Jehovah. May we overcome of all the circumstances by the testimony of our mouth and the world's confession of our mind in the name of the Lord Jesus. Zonda, we brought those 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 zonda
there. For I give you praise. For what I know, you've answered it. Mashanke no roski. Re ke 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 go zega do zandre. Re bra do zega na. Ma ki do zega ba do zandre no. Re ke. Come in, come in, the door is open. Pastor Frank. Good evening, Pastor Frank. Mara, what are you doing here by this time of the night? Pastor, I actually forgot the song. It was in the church today. So I thought it was wise to come here for you to teach me. Really? Yes. But I... Uh... Won't you ask me to sit? Oh, sorry, 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 please. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Pastor Frank, like the song. Do you the song? Chari chari min samae. So what plans have you got? Your Majesty, I have a grand plan. I will pretend that I'm pregnant for a Siri and Frank. Then I will destroy them. Hmm. That's an interesting news. Mm -hmm. My faithful servant. Yes, Your Majesty. It is time to destroy those fools. Yes, we will destroy them. to hell. How can my husband stop all his praying activities in this house? He no longer prays nowadays. Jesus, what do I do? Amara! Amarachi! Have you finished what you're doing in the kitchen? Yes, I have. I have no issue. I'm trying to put me down. I'm not sure. What is the meaning of this? Jehovah. 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 Oh. No. So, you. Anyway, you are leaving the house this minute. What's my plan to come back? for the matter. I am disappointed in you. You're very stupid. You are very mad. Huh? You are an idiot. 
Why not wait for your husband to come back now before throwing my things out of the house? Is your husband not a man? He's also a man now. Yes. So you have the gut to insult me. I am not insulting you. I'm not. Your husband is a man, so let him come back. Let him come out and dance the music. Oh, oh thank God, my love, you're back. Yes, Thanks, Mr. Yes, what's yes, what's going on? Aska, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? Sorry for what? She found out. She found out what? That I'm carrying your child. Darling, 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 please be. Will you guys get somebody to help us? Oh, yes. This is a lie. It's not true. Darling, she's only joking. Will you move? Jesus. Jesus. How could you allow this to happen? How could you? <laughs> I told you I never wanted to. I told you. Listen, stop shouting. Stop shouting, okay? If this has been done, why are you crying over spilled milk? What can we do? What should we do about it? What? What do we do? Yes. I should be asking you what. Yeah. Because I'm not ready to be part of any abortion. It is mother, pure mother. Eh, uh, no problem. Eh, hey, you will marry me now? What? Yes. I need to marry uh, of you? Of course. I can't. Ah. I said I can't marry you. Okay. And you know that I can't. <laughs> hmm. Hey! You had better start thinking, you know. You had better start thinking. Because the whole church will hear about this. I will tell the head pastor and everyone how you raped me. So start thinking about it now. Start thinking. Yes, it is rape. Nonsense. Hmm. I should have seen it coming. Ah, you should have seen clearly. You should have seen clearly. I'm waiting to be thinking. Of God. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, um, Frank, uh, uh, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Good, 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 good. Um, yes, I, 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 I sent for you um, to, you know, you know, tell you uh, I'm, I'm having issues at home at, at the moment. Okay. Uh, um, forgive me, I have quite a lot on my head right now, but the main issue is uh, Amarachi is having, you know, um, mm. some difficulties staying with me. You, know, um, you see, um, you know women, they, they're having little issues in the house, you know, not comfortable staying with each other. So right now, I just want you to do me this favor and please don't say no. Don't say no, please. I, I want uh, Amarachi, you know, to move in with you temporarily. Yes, you know, just for some time. But I just want you to do that for me, please. Sorry, man of God. My house? Yes. Temporarily, that is. Okay, no problem. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I will definitely make sure that um, I, I call you the time today and then uh, you can come get uh, Amara. This 
is just the beginning. They have not seen anything yet. They say is the dance of the spirit. Shika shika. Shike shibu. It's the dance of the living dead. It is time to change the dance. I have a request. I want Pastor Esiri and Frank to turn against themselves and then become worst enemies. I want Mara to be the bone of contention. Do this, and I shall continue to serve you the most high. I came to this village because of the series of dreams our overseer have been having about you in this village. What is happening? I don't know. I just don't know. I'm short of words. I know there have been lots of problems, lots of troubles, but still I can't explain how I backslided. This is no time for self-pity. You have to buckle up. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 12, Wherefore, my beloved, as you obey me, not just in my presence, but now, much more, you obey me in my absence, you work out your salvation. Pastor Jonas, I don't like the way things is going in this family. The first day I saw that girl, I knew there was going to be trouble. I've lost the baby. You've lost the face of God. His spirit is no longer with you. The Bible said in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 to 9. Be careful. Watch out for the attacks of the devil. He moves around like a roaring lion, seeking for the victims to devour. When you saw the devil's actions, you did not stand firm in your faith. It's well. All things work out for good for them that believe God. Pastor Siri, you have to redeem your family. I'm simply without words. Just. Without words. Samson. Pastor Isiri, or whatever you are called. As far as I am concerned, you are no longer our pastor. Yes. You're right, yes. my dear. You are not. Excuse me. Let us go. We heard him right. Please. So, that's what we were saying. Let's go this okay. way.
what is really happening to me? I am so shattered. Shattered spiritually. Every member of the congregation has left me. Every member of the congregation despises me. For once I feel the power of God has left me. The Holy Spirit has left me. God, what am I going to do? This Amara's issue has put me in a mess. And I know it won't be long before everyone knows Pastor Frank is harboring her. Now she claims she is pregnant for me. The child is important to me. But the manner in which this child has come is against my biblical upbringing. I also hope she doesn't lure Pastor Frank into something funny. For I know it is impossible to resist her. She is beautiful. God, why all this now? Why me? God, save me. Save me. Save us, Siri. Pastor Siri, to stop disturbing me. Tell him to stop disturbing me. I'm tired now. What's the meaning of all this? Why should he be coming here all the time? Why? Yes, Siri. He was here? Yes. He was here. That fool is getting on my nerves. He was so lucky to have escaped with his life. The last time. Honey. Yes. Trust me. Trust me. He won't be so lucky the next time. I'll cut him into pieces and feed his flesh to the vultures. I think you should do that, though. I think you should do it. Because it's getting too much. What is all this now? <laughs> is it by force? I think I don't want. Ah. You should, I'm, I'm getting very angry right now. I'm just angry. Uh-uh. Honey, please, I love you. Trust me. Love you so much. Hmm? I can't wait to take you away from me. Believe me, I love you. Just tell him to stop coming here. And tell him to stop disturbing me. I am tired. What's this now? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's just go inside. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Brother, this is disastrous. How can the devil manipulate Pastor Esiri on this? <sighs> Women. Women are evil. <sighs> Since the creation of this very mother earth. Women had been the problem of every great man with wisdom. From the time of Adam, Solomon, and even Samson. Okay, now what do we do? How do we redeem this situation? Because Pastor Frank, who's supposed to be our mouthpiece, is harboring a manatee for the same Pastor Isiri. What do we do? We must have to write to the headquarters. They must have to come to our rescue now. And how do you think they will feel when they find out? Who cares? Who cares? 
Who is even sure that Pastor Frank is not having his own cut off? That same girl. He must be ravishing the girl. Pastor Frank, Pastor Frank, we heard you chased your senior pastor out of your compound the other day. Hey, hey, enough. Don't you ever call this fool. Don't you ever call this fool, my senior pastor. I wanted to kill him because he wants to take my wife and I'm still on it. I swear to God. I swear to God, if I ever see you around my wife, I'll cut you into pieces. Fool. What has come over here? What's wrong with him? Hey, please, please. This is not why we are here. Eh? This is not why we're here. Anyway, let us not be drawn aside. We gathered here for a purpose. Yes. A letter of disorderliness has been copied to the headquarters. This is your copy. I'm leaving. Understand what you're going through. I understand the ridicule. I know you need powers. I would take you to a place where you would get stronger powers. What are you talking about? I understand you need powers. And you get it. Let us proceed with the issues of the day. Your Majesty, your new convert, the man you've long desired to own, Mr. Esiri. Your Majesty, he wants power. Let him speak for himself. Your Majesty, 
I desire power. I also desire children. All you wish will be granted. But know that everything has a price. Whatever the price is, Your Majesty, I will pay. Are you ready to go on? I am ready, Your Majesty. Swaz Sikeyabo, Don Ichakavo! Mrs. Shakiz, Mrs. Shakiz, Mrs. Shakiz. Swaz Sikeyabo, Don Ichakavo! Mrs. Shakiz, Mrs. Shakiz, Mrs. Shakiz. Sikeyabo, don't it rock Mr. Shakis, Mr. Shakis, Mr. Shakis. Swaz, Sikeyabo, don't it rock Mr. Shakis, Mr. Shakis, Mr. Shakis. Frank and I even cast our dreams. Ah, well done, no. Ah, I'm Sister Mara. Sister Mara, are you going? Uh, yes, I'm going. Ah. Um, Sister Mara, see, I never knew you're a powerful singer. Imagine how you treat me at the choir today. <laughs> well, thank you so much, eh? Thank mm. you, I'm grateful. But it's not my doing, it's the Lord's doing. But there's no there's not big deal about it, though. Anybody can have this kind of voice. I mean, <laughs> I have powers, very special powers. So, powers. Yes, um, it's not a big deal. I mean, <laughs> yes, you can have this kind of voice if you want to. Uh, how do you mean? What kind of powers? No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I, I'm not serious. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I have to go now. Okay. Um, but I'm. A... Okay. Okay. Bye bye. See powers. Powers. You have powers. Which powers? Dear brethren, we have experienced a lot of bad events in this church for the past few months. It is very, very wise for us to take a second look at it to see how we can bring back the church to its former glory.
So I implore everybody who have been aired in one way or another to please forgive. I know I have erred. I know I have sinned against God. But believe you me when I say I have prayed to God to forgive me. I tell you today God has begun to use me. Please, I beg you. I am not asking you to take me back into your fold as your head pastor. But to take me back into your fold as your member. Because I have the interest of this church at heart. I have the progress of this church at heart. The decision to bring me back rests on you. As God blesses you. We are from you. And we are happy that the problem has been rectified. Yeah. I'm not happy. I'm still saying that this man. He's to my husband. Madam, what do you mean? I've lived with my husband for years. Countless years. And I'm standing here to tell you that this man here is to my husband. What do you mean? It's okay. It's okay. Um, let's proceed. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, on Sunday service. Thank you for a job well done. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. I never knew you were such a great servant. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. But from what has been happening recently, what is your opinion? Your Majesty, the sacrifice for a serious power should be his wife. Your Majesty, that woman is becoming a problem to us. She needs to be cut off. That woman? Yes, Your Majesty. Hmm. What? Swans in your elbow! Don't into a cavo! Gushaki, gushaki, gushaki. Come out! You daughter of the devil in human skin. We grab those jab and bank it about so take a little rosy. Due to the continual disturbance of your wife, this kingdom demands her blood tonight. Yes, Your Majesty. It is time for the kingdom to test the blood of your loved wife. Yes, Your Majesty. 
Suarez, Sikea, Don, and Jakafo. Go and prepare her. Tonight is the night. Go! With all honesty and loyalty, your wish is done, Your Majesty.
I bind you. 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 I I bind you. I you. I bind you. I bind you. I bind you. Il a gardé les gens dans le monde. Les gens sont They will go somewhere before you invaded them. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet. No! I overcome you by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimonies. Now I strive all your powers and consume you with hunger!